after I spoke to my attorney who told me, hey, you're, you did break federal law. You know, like, if you report this, you're risking going to prison. But I was just thinking to myself, if I bring this to trial, what jury is going to convict me? Yeah. I mean, I just don't think guilty right. or not, I, I, I'm willing to take my chances. I see Nathaniel Larson arrested at an airport at a layover with a 12-year-old girl that he kidnapped. And they were fully aware of what he was doing. They're fully aware of the 3,000 other people that I caught on the website with their IP addresses, their emails, their chat history, everything about them. A, a case, you know, on a golden platter for, for any, any, any district attorney. They're just letting this lie. And nothing happened. They didn't even bring up his website in the news article. But uh, I have some custom firmware on here now that they can, you know, break into a ton of different cars. Um, and it's on a rolling code system, meaning like every time you hit the, the button on your on your key fob, the code changes and the car only accepts the new code. And uh, and this has custom firmware that gets in sync with that rolling code. Let's so let's say you click the lock button. Now I have the lock, unlock, trunk, all of your all of the buttons on your key fob just from one press. And uh, and that was one thing they they lost their minds over saying that. That the data attack's been around 20 years. It's not rolling code. It's not this, but it is. It is rolling code. It is. It is a new attack. So, and I'll demonstrate it on the show. You know, once we get outside or whatever point that is.